What up? What up? Welcome to the session with Sess. We're talking WNBA finals today, y'all. Sunday, October 8th. It's about 10 18 here in the D. And I'm thinking about this game we got coming up on ABC at 3 p.m. Is it on ABC? I might have just told a lie about that, but y'all will find it. It's only 3 p.m. I really think it's ABC. But we got the, the New York Liberty and the Las Vegas Aces finna get down. I mean, this is. <clears throat> This 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 the baby we've been making for nine months. Shit, we've been waiting nine months for this. Let's get to it. Let's see what it is. We got the Liberty. You know, they coming in New York, out of New York. I think they're the only original. I think they're the only original franchise that, that didn't win one. That's still around that didn't win one. So the story for them, if they get a win, they had a great season. They finished 32 and 8. Got the defending champion, Las Vegas Aces. They was on the tear all season. 34 and 6 this year. Um, this thing here is gonna be mostly about the starters. It's gonna be mostly about the starters, y'all. There's no 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 reason to hold nobody up. I mean, the bench will play the role that they play, but this is gonna be about those starters. Stokes, Asia, Chelsea, Jackie, Kelsey, okay, Courtney, Sabrina. Stewie, John Quayle, Laney, is Laney? Uh, I, I forget sometimes, y'all. Correct me if I'm wrong. Jump in the comments and let me know. Matter of fact, if this is a conversation that you want to be a part of, go on and hit that sub subscribe button. Hit the notification so that you know when the talk is going and we can engage and go from there. Historic. Historic. They said this is the, the, the best WNBA finals. In history, I don't know. I've been watching the, the WNBA a long time, and it might be the best finals ever. It might be the best finals ever. Um, teams stacked up, super teams. They split the regular season meetings. Uh, but the Liberty gave, gave, gave the Aces, a, a, they beat the shit out the Aces in the Commissioner Cup. <clears throat> I want to say they beat them by 18, 19, 20, something like that. It was, it was, it was disrespectful. It was disrespectful. Um, I'm torn because I've been watching Stewie a long time. Since Connecticut, one of my favorites in the game. I mean, you talk about baller. You need something to happen. Stewie, Stewie, Stewie go get it done. Her all-around game is crazy, especially for 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 uh for for a big player. Sees the court well, moves well. Um We'll bust you with the jumper and take you down low. I mean, shit, she was this year MVP. I think it's her second one. So, I mean, that <clears throat> that says enough about what Stewie's game is. Oh, but that Asia. I call her two times because I think she's a two-time defensive player of the year now. So, you can call her two times. That Asia. Whoo! Been on a tear recently. All season, really. Could have very well have been MVP as well. Okay. Uh, I'm predicting that she go off. I'm predicting that she goes off in these finals. Hazel just been looking like she got a point to prove lately. She just been looking like she got a point to prove. And I'm here for it. Let's go. Let's go with it. I'm here for it. I love her energy. I love her emotion. I love the way that she interacts with her team. I love the way that she just has fun with it. Uh, the WNBA has had a beautiful season. This has been probably one of the a historic season for the league. I'm glad to see it it growing up. Um. Yeah, I'm glad to see it's growing up. 
I'm glad to see that we got more living legends involved around the game. Rivalries being born, celebrities showing up to games. Shit, we had games on Ion, I think, this year. NBA brothers been supporting. I mean, NBA brothers have have, have supported uh, for a long time, but even more so now. It seems like just more and more. This this here this game and this league is growing, and I, I'm loving that I'm that I'm here for it, and I've been able to see it grow up. One of my biggest complaints have been not having the living legends around the game. So now seeing the the podcast that Cheryl has with I can't think of the, the young lady's name off the top of my head. Forgive me, but <clears throat> just to to see all of those things coming to coming to life around this league has been really fun. And this finals is going to be record set. It's going to be historic. It's getting ready to change. How how I think a lot of people look at the the WNBA finals, because uh, it's gonna be a real rivalry. You're gonna see some good. You're gonna see some good basketball. Because <coughs> besides Stewie and Asia, you got Sabrina. And listen, I can't say her name, y'all. So I just say, yeah, that's cool, real fast. So Sabrina, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Sabrina, yeah, that's cool. Uh, jumper is wet. Her jumper is wet. Okay. Uh, Jackie Young's been killing from three, though. I think I, I think Sabrina Esco finished uh, just behind Jackie this year in, in three percentage. I have to double check that. Listen, none of the stuff that I say is – don't take the stuff that I say as fact. Most of this shit is just my opinion and to get a conversation started. And to get to, to understand some, some people's – some other people's passion about this game. So just sharing my opinion, some of this stuff might not be uh, fact, but – Coming off because I'm coming off the top of my head with some of this stuff. Uh, I read a lot, but so she might not be just behind Jackie. Don't kill me about that if it's not. All right. Um, Kelsey, Kelsey Plum. I mean, she's been doing her thing since since 21. She she got that most improved player. I think she was MVP of the All Star game last year. Um, having a lights out season this year. Uh, and then you got you got Courtney with the dimes. They these teams match up so well, which was proven in the in the in the matchups during the regular season that it's just gonna come down to sheer will. Who won it? I am going with the uh, with the defending champs. Like I said, I think Asia gonna gonna go off. I think we gonna we gonna see um, her really take her game to a different level. And I feel like the point guy been quiet. I just feel like Chelsea been quiet lately. She went on a tear last year and ended up, I think she was finals MVP last year. Um, it's going to be exciting to see these two coaches. It's the first time we've got two, two former players, you know, facing off as coaches in the finals, so. <clears throat> Becky and Sandy will probably be, you know, going, you know, adjustment for adjustment, I imagine. Because I think everybody held on to something after we saw how, what parity was in the, in the, uh, in this matchup throughout the, the regular season. I think that. Everybody saved something. Everybody got some up their sleeves that they haven't pulled out yet. And I'm just excited to see. I hope it goes the whole distance. I want to see some good basketball. I want to see some people get after it. And I think these ladies are going to get after it starting from the tip this afternoon. Uh, it was so much good basketball this season. You know, it, it could have easily been the, the, the Connecticut could have easily been the Dallas Wings, you know. They come in too. They got a nice, they got a nice team. Atlanta's doing some nice things. Indiana's doing some nice things. <clears throat> That's all in the next season. I'm getting off topic. This is all about this game is getting ready to get down at three o'clock Eastern. Three o'clock Eastern. Um, I want to know who y'all got and what y'all think. 
I'm, I'm going, I'm going aces. I'm going Asia goes off. I want to see everybody stay healthy. I want to see everybody ball. And I'm looking for Asia to go ahead. I think, I think she could be feeling if she could be feeling a little some kind of way about not getting the MVP. And so, you know, she might that finals MVP may may quench that that MVP thirst a little bit for this season. So I'm expecting her to go off. I'm expecting to see defense out of this world. I'm expecting to see a track meet up and down the floor. I'm expecting to see threes fly. I'm expecting to, to, to really see some, some good defense. And uh, I almost forgot. God damn it. Listen, let me tell y'all something. I forgot to say one of my biggest concerns. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know how I forgot this. I'm picking the aces. And I'm picking Asia to go off. That John Quill Jones could be a problem. What a trade that was for New York. I can't say nothing but baller. Keeping her under control is a must. Keeping her under control is a must. I felt like she was a big difference maker in the two games that they won during the regular season and in that Commissioner Cup game. So we're going to need to keep our eye on her. But I like everybody that's playing. So if New York was to win it, I couldn't be mad. But I would like to see the Aces go back to back. But I think we got got these, these super teams building. And it's building towards a good rivalry with them. But we've also got some non super teams out there that could, you know, could be one player away from being super teams, but also just some good young teams that are coming up. So a lot of good basketball ahead for this league, right? So we got Atlanta coming up. We got Dallas. We got Connecticut. Um, Just a few of the teams that I like, a few of the teams that I was watching this year. Um, The league has come so far. I love to see it on so many different platforms. I'm glad that we are on ABC today at three, game one of the finals. I'm excited to see where it goes. I can't wait to talk about what I what, what I see in this in, in this game one and, and where we go in this uh this finals in this this uh this series. So stay tuned. Talk soon. I'm out.